Good morning, everyone. I hope you're well. I really have to share this with you because this is ironic and off the scale. Heroes kicked out so migrants can be let in. Lifeboat crew on training course are thrown out of three-star hotel to make way for asylum seekers as thousands of migrants are put up in five-star hotels with one in four resorts block booked for months. Now, <laughs> let's just read this together because I can't stop laughing. Four members of the RNLI were turfed out of the three-star hotel in Merseyside that came back to find their bags packed after taking part in a training session. The migrants were driven to the hotel from the crisis hit overcrowded Manston. The RNLI crew members are now staying in a different hotel eight miles away. Two four-star hotels have been used in Essex and Cambridgeshire for migrants. Listen to this. Listen to this. You could not make this up. It's so deliciously ironic. <laughs> You'll find this funny. Because <laughs> I do. A lifeboat crew on a training course were kicked out of a hotel midway through their stay to make way for asylum seekers as thousands of homeless migrants are put up in five-star hotels. Four members of the RNLI were turfed out of their three-star hotel in Hollyoak, Merseyside, with no, without notice on Tuesday. They came back to find their bags packed and left in the foyer after taking part of hovercraft training session on nearby mudflats. A source said, the irony is off the scale. These migrants were picked up in the channel by members of Border Force and volunteers from the RNLI. Now, some of those volunteers, literally on a course to improve the ways they can save lives at sea, have been kicked out of their hotel by the very people they're training to rescue. Oh, the migrants were driven to the hotel from the crisis here, overcrowded Manson Asylum Processing Facility in Kent, more than 300 miles away. It's also been revealed that four and five star hotels are being booked out for months at a time to house thousands of migrants. The RNLI crew members, one volunteer and three staff, are now staying at a different hotel eight miles away in Liverpool. <laughs> so the very people that are going out there and, and do you know what? They are they are they are brave volunteers. I'm not I'm not decrying the RNLI volunteers themselves, I decry the organization. But the very people that are going out and picking them up are being turfed out of their own hotel rooms. That You could not make this up. You could not make this up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a good day. And, uh, yeah, let us know what you think in the comments, as usual. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll speak to you later. Okay, cheers, guys. <laughs> Bye for now.